Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial here on psdevout.com uh, YouTube channel. Uh, this is just a, a quick tutorial to show you how I sort of apply these uh, metal textures over the facial area and the layer mask uh, that I use to, um, to add more depth to these metal textures and to reveal the, uh, the eyes and the lips and the um, um, bit of um, um, techniques behind that uh, layer mask and uh, yeah so let's get started I'm uh, just gonna go back to this uh, layered document um, so as you can see I've got a, a, a face uh, um, cut out already uh, from the original uh, stock image and uh, basically I applied a bunch of um, uh, images image adjustments, uh, black and white and levels to this uh, facial area. Uh, so the next step we're going to do is to just to add the metal textures uh, over the face. Um, so basically um, you just hold down your control key and uh, just click on this uh, model layer. And uh, as you can see you will have a uh, just a selection around this um, uh, face and neck area which is sort of hidden right now um, so the next step you're gonna do is to just to click on this uh, rectangular marquee tool uh, just click and drag that selection over to our metal textures uh, image and uh, and you have that selection over to the to that image just like that and the next step is just to copy that um, selection. So we just basically hold down the uh, control and plus C. Just do a copy and then we're just gonna basically paste that over to the to the image. And um, right so we're gonna attach a layer mask to this layer. Um, so I'm just gonna just click on this uh, layer mask button there. Uh, so uh, we're just gonna apply a bit of um, eraser tool over these um, metal textures. It's very important uh, to s adjust the opacity to be around about um, 50% for this uh, eraser tool and reduce the flow as well to around about 50% as well. Okay, so just gonna basically and uh, make sure you set the background to be black as well. Otherwise, um, you want there's, there will be nothing on the layer mask. So just basically go through all that and just get rid of all the all the neck area. And we're just gonna fade out the the edge as well slightly. Alright, and we're just going to change the blending mode to um, either hard light or overlay. So I use the overlay blending mode here. Um, okay, so we're just going to reduce the black and white, um, sorry, the, uh, the size of the eraser tool. I'm just going to apply some of the, the layer mask uh, on the eye area because we don't want the eyes to be uh, a bit metal -y. just want, to, want the original eye area uh, I'm just going to apply some over the lips as well 
Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, just over the edge, like that. Uh, we're gonna want to fade out some of the the um, forehead area as well. So this will just increase the depths of the metal texture, so make that surface a bit uneven. Alright, so we're just gonna set this layer as a clipping as a clipping mask to the previous layer. Like that. And this will make sure it doesn't go over the facial area. Um, for this uh, metal texture, just just adding a bit more eraser effect over the forehead. All right, so we're just gonna add another black and white adjustment layer over the top of the um, the metal texture layer. Make sure you set you uh, tick this option says um, use previous layer to create clip, uh, clipping mask and we wanted to just adjust that yellow texture slightly just have just have a play with the options here Okay, so and uh, yeah, so if you zoom in here, so that's pretty much the um, the effect. Um, you can change the blending mode of this metal texture layer instead of overlay. You can set it as hard light, and this will give you a different sort of result. This will have some sort of break apart effect, as you can see over this area here. Um, yeah, so depending on what whatever effect you wanted to have as a result, so I, you can just have a play with the blending mode and you'll have a different effect uh, each time. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is the final effect I, I have uh, at I sort of added some of the color effect um, over the um, over the over the texture uh, with some um, image adjustments. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um, I've got another tutorial on the uh, on the YouTube channel and um, with the with a bit of um, description on how to apply some color effects. Uh, you can I've got the link down below and you can have a look at that one as well if you are interested. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you're enjoying this tutorial, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.